sterile quickie. Ignaz Zemmelweis was a German-Hungarian physician and scientist in the early 19th century with an absurd medical claim. Doctors should wash their hands. At least as far back as the Roman Empire, people had noticed that washing hands increased health outcomes, although they didn't have a germ theory of disease, so they didn't understand why. But doctors in the 19th century just weren't doing that. Semmelweis noted that, in the hospital where he worked in Vienna, when doctors delivered babies, they had three times the mortality than midwives. And he noticed that the midwives had been washing their hands. He also noticed that a lot of the deaths happened after the doctors had been handling corpses before delivering the babies. So he said that the doctors should wash their hands before every delivery. Oh, how they screeched and clutched their pearls! How dare he say their hands were filthy! Didn't he know they were part of the great and the good, not dirty, filthy peasants? In May of 1847, he used his position as assistant professor of the first obstetrical clinic at the Vienna General Hospital to institute a policy of hand washing. Afterwards, the mortality rate dropped from 18.3% to just 2.2%. A year later, it had dropped to zero, whereas it had stayed the same in the second clinic where he didn't have any decision-making ability. But although this should have been a very convincing controlled experiment, the medical community responded with outrage at this medical misinformation. And the fact that the others who tried it kept finding the same results just made it a conspiracy theory. The medical establishment insisted that they couldn't possibly have been the cause since the science had established that the cause was an imbalance of the four humors. If only they'd used more leeches. So they drummed him out of the first clinic in 1849. He went to a smaller hospital in a suburb of Budapest in 1851 where childbed fever had been rampant. Semmelweis virtually eliminated it with only eight deaths over a four-year period. But the Budapest authorities refused to believe it too. I mean, how dare he go against the experts? Who does he think he is? Doesn't he realize that they are the science? After they drummed him out, mortality rates increased sixfold but their oppression of Semmelweis continued. The thing is, whether or not something is medical misinformation is something you can only determine in retrospect, after sufficient evidence has been gathered. You can't do it right when something is first suggested. So at a time when Darwin's new idea of natural selection was taking the biological world by storm, Semmelweis's observations were being silenced by the medical community, which was more authoritarianism than inquiry. In 1865, Semmelweis still wasn't shutting up about his medical misinformation, so his colleagues had him committed to a mental asylum where he was straitjacketed and beaten by the guards. He died from his wounds 14 days later, in shame and poverty, even though he was absolutely 100% correct. So today we have a term. The Semmelweis reflex, when new information is rejected because it contradicts the entrenched paradigm. You never know, today's medical misinformation just might be tomorrow's life-saving science.